Hey everyone, this is Mr. Shell here, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to burn PS2 games using Roxio Creator 9 or any, uh, well, any other Roxio program which would have a similar interface, or you can just find the same option on the program and go to it as I will do uh, later on. But well, first of all, I'd just like to mention that for this, you will actually need to have Swap Magic or a chip or some kind of Swap Mod for your PlayStation 2. You cannot do this without any modifications or accessories with your PS2. You will not be able to burn a disc and put it in and expect it to work without any modifications. I personally use Swap Magic and you can check out my Swap Magic video on my YouTube channel or I will actually post a link in the description but you will not be able to you um, do it with one without a swap magic or some kind of swap mod just to get that out of the way because I keep getting comments on my other videos asking how why doesn't it not work because you don't have the specialized mod for it okay now that's out of the way uh, let's begin for this you will need a PS2 with a special uh, feature or a mod or accessory. You will need a PS2 game which you may get from some kind of downloading site or you may be, don't know, you've ripped it or something like that from another disc. And you will, well, need a win raw as well as well as a burning ROM like Roxio for this video. So uh, what you do if you've got it in multiple raw files like this, uh, you will have to get to the top or maybe in the middle whichever you prefer and extract here and it will extract and I will come back in a second and it is now finished as you may have saw the tablet go away and I've got an ISO here uh, you do not need these however do keep them for uh, a few a while until you've burned it and you've tested that it does work um, because sometimes you may have a copying error or you may have a dodgy game file that or, well badly extracted so now you've got the ISO here uh, you can see the difference by looking in type and ISO image you can also go to properties and looking here and it says ISO image and well it opens with Broxio creator as I've downloaded it and it's my default program so that is the PS2 game here and it is usually bigger than all the other files because these compress it and well keep it from being damaged and because that's in because it's in parts it makes it easier to download uh, so that's how you uh, get the ISO file from a multiple RAW file you will also may get a single RAW file just like this without looking at them and all you do is uh, extract that and you may get that or you may get another well another uh, another circumstance is you extract all of these and then you get one of these again and all you do is you do the same as you would for an ISO file you check that it is an ISO file it should say image file or some kind instead of WinRAW here and if it says that then you may have an image file and to check it out fully you uh, using Roxio you go to uh, copy here and burn image and you find your ISO here and I've already done it but all you do is press uh, browse and you may need to select your default DVD burner but well I've only got one and then all you do is you press continue and you won't get this because you'll have a disc in but uh, I don't have a disc because I've actually already got this game on my disc and I don't really want to waste the disc if you want to see a live burning go to my um, you burning PS2 games using multiple RAW files, and I actually do a bur live burning, and then show you how to play it using Swap Magic and using Swap Magic video, which uh, are all on my channel, and I'll actually post it in the description. So for this, all you need is your PS2 game, your P uh, PS2 with some kind of mod, and then uh, Win RAW, and that is all you need to get it get the game uh, if you win raw actually costs however it is a trial version and it doesn't seem to go out of trial so you keep keep on using it even after it's gone past its 40 day trial just a hint there uh, Roxio is a uh, paying software so you have well it's not freeware that's what I mean to say uh, so you do have to pay for it and well if you have to pay for it you may uh, not want to pay for it since uh, 
well you may not have the money or some other kind of reason you can always use DVD decryptor check out my video I'll post it in the description it'll be with all my other series of videos that I've done with Blink PS2 games using different ROMs and uh, just for a note uh, I'll explain uh, a theme and a background in my other video which I'll probably upload um, at the same day as I upload this video so check out my channel for and look for how to improve your desktop or some kind of title like that so the, this has been Mr. Shell thanks everybody for watching and this is how you burn PS2 games using Roxio